Hello again. So I'm here to share some more dreams. Um, I'm, ha I'm pulling these up on my computer to share. I wanted to make this video yesterday, December 7th. Um, today is December 8th. Um, but you'll see why in just a minute. Because both of these dreams had significant things that line up happened yesterday. But I figure one day late's not too bad. <laughs> because the other parts of the dream, um, anyway, I, I feel released to say them now. Okay, so April 11th of this year, I had a dream that my mother was mad at me, which is currently going on, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, and she picks me and my boys up in my van and we're and I'm but I'm driving like she shows up I think actually I don't remember if she was driving or I was driving but anyway we're in my van and we're driving down the interstate and we see a plane land on the interstate and she says something about how bad the world is right now that they have to do that and I said yes but this is we know this is only the beginning the worst comes I don't know if I said the worst comes in 2025 or starts in 2025 um so yesterday, that was April 11th of 2020, um, yesterday, December 7th of 2020, um, I saw on the headlines that a plane landed on Interstate 35 West in Minnesota, and yeah, it was actually by an award-winning pilot. And I guess he had engine failure, and he only made it, he only hit one car, but nobody was hurt. So anyway, I saw a plane landing on the interstate, and I was like, and my mom's mad at me just like she was in the dream. Um, it just it perked my ears up that that happened in my dream, where I said, "This is we know that." this is only the beginning, the worst starts in 2025. Now, I don't believe that things are going to just get progressively worse until 2025. Um, I think that uh, it's just that, you know, people thought 2020 was just the worst year ever. Let's not do this again. But I actually think that there's something that's going to happen maybe in 2025 that is worse, uh, unfortunately. But it's God's grace and mercy to prepare us for it. Right? Okay. So, that's just to keep in mind that if there's any major planning that you want to do or praying about it or if that confirms something that God's told you, um, that's why I'm putting that out there. Uh, I do think that the next four years, um, it's not going to be like... Uh, just hell on earth or something like that. I feel like the next four years, God wouldn't tell me this now. Um, if it was just going to be like, you can't do anything about it. I feel like the next four years are to maybe however you can, however he leads you to prepare yourself for 2025. He hasn't even told me what is actually going to happen in 2025. I just have that dream where I said, we know the worst starts in 2025. Take that how you will. I felt the need to put that out there. Okay. Uh, the second dream I want to share is from April 25th of this year. I had a dream that there was a virus spreading. And yes, COVID-19 was going on at this time. But in the dream, I felt like it was a different virus. Okay. So I had a dream that there was a virus spreading. It was causing accidents because it made you pass out. One man who passed, one man passed out behind the wheel of his car and uh, I think I wrote later that he, in my, I'm reading off my notes, that he hit a tree. Um, my husband and I were trying to get somewhere, but if we saw people along the way, we were like walking down the street, and I think we were trying to get to like a conference, like a Christian conference or something in the dream. Uh, if we saw people who needed help along the way, we would stop, pray, and they'd be healed. Um, I remember people were crazy nervous about germs. Many people refused help 
because they believed that they could catch it by being near people they didn't know, but I knew that I wouldn't catch it. No one understood the virus or how it worked, and I got a glimpse in the dream of what the virus looked like under a microscope, and it looked like a bee riding a horse, and the bee had a long needle for a nose. Um, so at this point in the dream, I go to the police station to tell them about the cop who hit the tree. I tell them what happened, and I'm talking, and there's a police officer behind a desk, and he has a red splotch on his head um, that kind of reminds me of like a birthmark, but it's not brown, it's red. And he had a British accent. He slumps forward on his desk and trembles and then passes out. I immediately pray and he comes back. He was terrified. Um, I told him, I have to go, but I'm going to keep praying for you. He grabs my hand and he says, is that a promise? And I can tell he's scared to death. And I said, yes, I promise. And I left and I told my husband what happened. Um, let's see what the last part was. Things were so bad in the dream, people wouldn't leave their houses hardly. As we were walking, most of the people we met were quirky. Um, and I basically spent the I, wrote, I basically spent the whole dream feeling like I was mothering in a scared and weird world. Yeah. So, yesterday I see, also, headline, that people in India, there is a mysterious disease that strikes people with fainting. Um, and they don't remember what happened. Um, and they're bringing in, like, psych psychiatrists and things like that. There's other symptoms, um, and doctors are baffled. Uh, at this point, they think it might be something in the water. Um, but yeah, uh, the headline was something about people fainting in Eluru. Eluru? I'm probably saying that wrong. India. And um, it just perfectly reminded me of that dream. And so in one day, there was the plane landing on the interstate, and I see the fainting illness happening in India. And both of those dreams I had back in April. So um, God, a lot of times with my dreams, it takes about six to eight months for the revealing of it. Um, sometimes sooner, sometimes later, but that seems to be a trending theme in my life is about six to eight months later. And I should remember that and not try and interpret things sooner than I'm supposed to. But anyway, both of those things happening, I thought were important to put out here, not because I understand it completely, but in case there are others who have confirming words, dreams, um, things like that, because that's the thing is we see, it's almost like we expect prophets to be the person who's going to come and tell everybody else what to do, but really we're supposed to be a company of prophets in the, in the body of Christ who all check and balance each other and put puzzle pieces together and figure out what the Lord is doing and Yes, of course, there's some thus saith the Lord. This is exactly what's going to happen. Time, date, everything. But then there's some things like this where it's like the Lord is just trying to... I don't... I feel like I'm going to be watching this this disease in India just to see what happens. It may, it may turn out to be nothing or like just strike a few thousand people because I think it's already up to 600 and then go away. I don't know, but it was important enough. I feel like that the Lord warned me about it back in April. And so, yeah, wouldn't have been nice. It would have been nice if people had warned us about COVID-19 a little bit sooner, you know, uh, I know some prophets put out words and anyway, point being that I felt the need to put these out there. That God's trying to get us to pay attention. So yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. <laughs>